One day, in the deep blue sea, there was a birth of an orca. This male orca was full of life and enjoyed migrating and exploring the world under the sea. After two years of being by his mother's side, he is now ready to experience marine adventures independently. Just a few months of independently roaming the sea, this eagle whale found himself in a bit of a frenzy. He signaled a sign of distress, and other whales came to the rescue, only to be caught in the same frenzy. Now all whales are surrounded by large boats with connecting nets dropping eight feet deep in the water. The nets tangle in the fins of the whales, causing them to helplessly be brought out of the water on a crane and put in a box. They named this one Tilikum and dropped him off at SeaWorld, where he spent the rest of his life in a 350 foot long tank, was told when to eat, how much to eat, how to act, and when to breathe. Even though orcas can travel up to 100 miles a day, these fearless explorers are restricted to a pool that is a little over 123 yards. Due to their lack of exploration and change in temperature, their dorsal fin begins to collapse. This fin has the same muscles that we have in our ear. The animals begin to grow confusion and anger towards their new environment. They will soon be forced to get with the program, perform stunts in front of millions of people, and make SeaWorld millions of dollars. All while the real money makers, the main attraction, suffers from depression and separation from their families. Depression and separation can cause sea mammals to hurt and even kill humans that work with them daily. Brancho was killed February 24th when Tilikum, a 22-foot, 12,000-pound killer whale, grabbed the 40-year-old by her ponytail and dragged her into the water. Tilikum has been involved in two other deaths, another trainer in Canada in 1991 and again in 1999 when a homeless man entered the whale's pool at the Orlando SeaWorld Park. SeaWorld admits it knew the whale's violent history. It is important that we know and understand all aspects of animal captivity. This is cruel and no one or no thing deserves to undergo this type of treatment. No one should be given the power to decide how the next thing will live their life. It is up to you, my little explorers, to share this story and everything you learn with family and friends. Open their eyes to the truth about the animal entertainment we pay to see when we walk into zoos and aquariums. You have the choice to continue to allow our marine friends to suffer or put an end to animal captivity. The choice is yours.